Hello everyone, this is your friend Abhijit and in this video you will learn how to configure your D-Link router on your own and you need not to pay 300 or 500 to your service provider for these few steps because I have asked many of my friends and they said that they have paid 300 rupees for these few process which is very simple. So without wasting time, I shall begin. And guys do share this video to your friends and subscribe my channel. First of all I will go through the cable connection and then I will take you guys in the laptop and show you all process. So let's begin. This is the LAN cable of broadband connection that the provider will provide you. So try to fit in your laptop's LAN port as I am doing. Then open your browser and go to your broadband's home page. I am using Alliance so I am going to Alliance homepage and I have login and password with me so I will provide that to access my internet connection let me open a browser and show you that internet is running fine yes it is running this way we have checked our internet connection is running fine well now remove the LAN cable of broadband from your laptop's LAN port let me open my browser and i am pressing reload button and you can see there is no internet connection so it is saying the site can't be reached now the main process of configuration we have to connect our router this is the back portion of my router this is power button this is wan cable that is broadband cable will be entered here four ports are available in my router so i have to connect my power adapter small LAN extension cable which I have got in my D-Link router and the router see the connection carefully first of all I have connected my adapter then broadband connection over WAN port and the small yellow extension wire to one of those four ports any of the four port you can select I have selected second one and the next end of the yellow extension will go inside the laptop LAN port after power on you can check the LEDs this is LED of power this is Wi-Fi LED this is broadband LED and this is LAN port number 2 LED since there is no internet connection so go to the downward see open network and sharing center click over there and here is a change adapter setting go there. then ethernet select it right click and go to properties after that go to internet protocol version 4 and then go to properties Pro previously your provider will configure this ip so that you can use the broadband connection so we have to remove these ips click on obtain ip address automatically and obtain dns server address automatically and then ok then click close now you have to open your browser and go to this link 192.168.0.1 and click enter you will be redirected to the links web page this is the interface of the page and here is van setup connection type well my is static so i am selecting starting and the ip address of my broadband connection i have to provide these ips total 5 IPs are there so I am providing one after other 172.18.106.108.255.255.228.172.18.106.1.172.18.106.1.8.8.8 and then the wireless setup the name of the router I am putting my name which is Abhijit Agarwal and the password is subscribe click over save and connect and here you have not to provide any password just click on login this is the setup page click on setup then go to easy setup and hit on next button then select static IP and then click next see those IPs and then check after checking click on next see this and then click on next and this way 
the process is finished wait a moment then the last and the most important step is this click on setup once again then go to internet setup scroll down and the mac clone process this is the main step so we have to clone our mac from pc then select that and click on apply changes as you will click you have to wait for 35 seconds i am fast forwarding those 35 seconds you have to wait after this as you will wait you will see this page so let me check my internet for that i have to once again log in to my alliance broadband connection click on login you may have your other broadband connection you have to log in though that and let me check google yes it is working fine well now it's time to set up our wireless connection that is wi-fi so let me remove the lan cable from my laptop and if i will click on refresh button then since there is no internet connection in my laptop so the page will not open now we have to connect through wi-fi so take your mouse towards your wi-fi icon and click over there yes there is a Vijit Agrawal which is saying secured click on that connect automatically connect and the password s u b s c r i b e your would be different click on next as you will click on next it will take connecting and other side left hand side you can see that google page has automatically opened so this was the full setup process and this way you can see that you have successfully set up your dlink router let me open one page that is youtube.com yes it is opening fine well and this way our wi-fi as well as our dlink router has been configured that's it guys hope i helped you and if you found this video useful then do subscribe my channel and like this video also share with your friends and if you want to purchase the same router which i have configured right now then you can go to the description box and link has been provided and you can buy one for you and if you have any doubt or any query then feel free to comment and if you have not understood in single time then try to replay this video once again that's it thanks